Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. AMC stock is down to cool, calm, collected almost 13% here on the day. And there is really no reason for this. So what in the world is going on and what do you need to know? Well, we're going to get into that here in this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to make more money, if you want to reach financial freedom as quickly as possible, or you just want to see the MOAS or stay up to date with all of this information. I think that's most important. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. So AMC stock is down about 13%. As I said, there is no specific rhyme or reason to what is happening. A lot of people have said the dark pool, and that's probably a very good conclusion. Uh, probably a lot of that illegal shorting activity. Well, yes, and we'll talk about that a little bit more in the next video coming out. But AMC, this is a very volatile stock and you went up a lot now you're coming down a lot expect it to be very volatile volatility is expected and this comes as no surprise does this mean the story is over and the squeeze is over no this is actually a good moment to load up if you did not get in the last time around if we just try to figure out what's going on with amc you're going to pull up this article, one of a couple. It says, AMC shares pull back after skyrocketing on stock conversion court setback. And nothing. If you look, uh, if, if, if you read, it says, shares of AMC skyrocket 33% Monday after a judge blocked the company's plan to convert its AMC preferred equity units to common stock. The stock saw a trading volume of $256 million, while above the 65-day average of $22 million. AMC's bonds were also among the top gainers in high yield Monday. According to Bond Data Solutions Company, uh, literally nothing. There's there's no reason the courts have not said anything different, and you shouldn't really think anything different. The situation is still the exact same as it was a day or two ago. AMC, they're basically begging you to go through with this settlement. Obviously, the company does need the money, but in the way that the settlement was written, the courts will not allow it to go through. So this is likely that pre-Powell effect also having a role to play on the stock's performance. This is pretty common. Day before Powell, things are quite volatile, and then you should expect it to be volatile, especially in your small and even mid-cap stocks. Now, as far as the data is concerned with AMC, everything looks peachy picture perfect you couldn't ask for a better uh, setup amc is on the threshold securities list likely will be on this list for quite a long time considering the news and the catalyst that we just got but what is a little bit different today is the shares available are at like 1000 3000 4000 like nothing and you do have a cost to borrow fee of 1030 percent the cost of our fees are, are still going higher and that's a big problem for the short sellers right here and right now not an ideal situation. Live short interest off free float sitting at 28%, 143.82 million shares that are currently sold short. Cost bar average, 662.11%. Cost bar max, 1,010%. Cost bar minimum sitting at 1%. Now, the option activity. Let's go ahead and take a gander over here. 252 orders totaling $60 million with a positive order value of 4%. If you don't learn once, you don't learn twice, you don't learn three times, well, you deserve to get blown up on your position. And that's exactly what the hedge funds are doing to themselves. They are partaking in the same strategy that was a losing strategy the entire time. And they are buying, like nobody's business, these put options. Now, what happened back on Friday, it's the courts ruled that AMC cannot go through with their conversion. So everyone was basically betting that AMC, you know, the courts were going, going to approve this, that it was, it was basically dead in the water. AMC was going to fall. The conversion was going to go through and dilution was going to come. That means everyone was shorting AMC. As you could see, the short interest is 29%. But they were also going out and buying a fuck ton of options with zero regards for the stock potentially going higher. There was no thought process of, hey, maybe, you know, the stock does move higher. That just didn't happen, right? So they're continuing to do that. And this means that even more of them are likely to lose money when the stock actually does go higher. Now, I think there's a couple ways this this ultimately works out. Either, you know, the judge, uh, you know, approves a much larger settlement. In that case, you would 
expect to see more compensation for any potential dilution. I think that's a positive as well. As, as I have previously talked about, I didn't even think the judge was going to dismiss this, um, but she did. So I thought just raising billions of dollars of capital was bullish no matter what. So this went the other way and it was bullish. So I don't really care which way this thing plays out. I see a bullish case um, for, for both of it, especially as you kind of uh, look at things fundamentally. Fundamentally, the business is doing well. So no dilution, that's positive. Well, a little bit of dilution and raising billions, that's also positive. Now, if we look at the short score, that's at 95 the dollar amount currently sold short, $850 million. Estimated short interest off free flow at 28.11%. Free flow out on loan at 35%. Shares out on loan, $180 million. Days to cover at 8 Cost to borrow, trailing three-month average, 288.5%. Utilization at 83%. So I think the data still looks better than ever. And I mean, over the last three months, the dollar amount sold short is... Uh, up 21 and a half percent so it looks like these shorts are you know losing their ass ultimately on these short positions uh still and i think that will continue to be the case now if we take a look at the stock o tracker data and go ahead and pull this up the options are definitely a big you know, force that can move things around. And what we have seen recently is a lot of calls went into the money on Monday. A lot of calls are going out the money today. So when that happens, you see a lot of, you know, buying, and then you see a lot of shorting, and then you see a lot of buying, you see a lot of shorting. This is done by the market makers because of the extreme level of option activity that you are seeing on AMC stock. Calls in the money is at 18,000, calls out the money at 110,000, puts in the money at 42,500 puts out the money at 331,000. So there's just a lot of option activity, right? And especially heading into August 18th, the option activity ramps up even more. You almost have 1 million puts out the money for August 18th. These hedge funds didn't learn their lesson. They're still doing the same shit that they were doing before their puts just lost 50% of their value in one day, and that was on Monday due to the move that you've seen on, in after hours on Friday. Not to mention even last week's option buyers also lost their ass. So this was really a moment, in my opinion, where shorts could have taken their opportunity to cover on their short positions or double down on these short positions. And that's exactly what they chose to do is double down on these short positions. If we take a look at the earnings whisper, the earnings calendar for today, Microsoft and Google will be reporting earnings basically any minute now. These guys are going to dictate how the broader markets trade. If these guys have bad earnings, well, it's going to be very bad for the broader markets. And I think considering where these stocks are, especially Microsoft, you have to come out with some, you know, out the water kind of earnings. If earnings are negative, which I think there's a very high bar considering, again, where these stocks are, uh, then that's going to be a super negative for the markets. And I would expect the markets to dramatically sell off on that news. Now, if, if things are you know, good, then that's obviously going to be very supportive to our markets and shouldn't be a big, you know, worry for AMC. Now, if these stocks do fall, it could put a lot of pressure on the short sellers and, you know, hedge funds to ultimately maybe cover or maybe hedge out their positions as liquidity in their positions ultimately does fall. Now, tomorrow is going to be Fed Jerome Powell, and I think that's going to be a very big catalyst as well. It will drive bond yields up or down by quite a bit and will dictate how the you know, especially your small and mid-cap stocks to perform. Now, as to the reason for this drop, again, I want to make it very clear, there is no reason. You got a big move yesterday. You're getting a big move today. I expect every single day you're probably going to get some big moves as those positions from hedge funds, you know, covering or, 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 or not covering just goes back and forth every single day. You're holding this 100-day moving average as you found support there yesterday on the low wick of this candle. Um, and I imagine you find support there again at $4.89 per share. AMC stock is currently at $5.06 per share. It looks like you're finding support around $5 per share. And you should start to bounce back up again. Coming tomorrow would be my personal opinion. Now, the RSI is at 58.61. After really rocketing from 50 all the way to about 80 
you're back down to a more neutral level. So this thing could go either way from here, but I think it's pretty clear. Hedge funds and institutions were on the wrong side of this trade. If they want to beat down the stock one day, that's fine. I don't think the next couple of days are also going to be bigger and bigger reds. So if you have not gotten into a position in AMC and you wanted a position in AMC, this would be a pretty good time to actually get into that position in my personal opinion guys so that is going to go ahead and conclude this video we will be we will be back later on today to discuss uh microsoft and google earnings and how that could affect the broader markets as well heading into fed jerome powell tomorrow so thank you for watching hit the like button subscribe to the channel and source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one